Welcome everybody to the Fix My Bleep channel. I'm Greg and in today's video we're going to go over a robotic vacuum. It's the D-Bot N79S made by Ecovacs Robotics. And so you may be wondering, hey, should I go out and purchase one of these things or not? So this is basically going to be a review. I'm going to go over the good, the bad, the ugly, the cleaning, the maintenance, the care, um, some of the common issues with these things. I We actually own three of these things, so um, very well qualified to go over this. So let's get to it. Let's check it out and see what you guys think. Okay, so your new D-Bot comes with the charging station, two side brushes, a cleaning brush, a remote control, a set of filters, the owner's manual, and um, of course the D-Bot itself. So everything you need is right there, ready to go. Okay, so another thing worth to mention is these uh, Ecovac uh, D-Bots come with a little remote control. So you can hit the little home button and it'll just start cruising around your house and doing its thing. Um, hit the auto button, it'll do the same thing. You can hit the, uh, the target button, it'll target an area on your house. You can reconnect it to your wireless. Um, you can hit the edge button where it'll basically go around the edges of the house. Um, What's more cool is there's an app for uh, Ecovacs Home. So on your phone, just install the app, Ecovacs Home. You open that up, you add your robots. You can see I've got Rosie here. I've got the Diba N79 and I've got Wally. Um, and you just go in here, pick your robot. You can tell it what function you want it to do. It says it's on standby, on battery, full charge. Auto, edge, spot, room, charge, send it back to its charging station. And so this is really um, quite the cool little app, a nice little feature on these D-Bots. And uh, so there you go, another nice uh, pro on these D-Bots. So this little robot vacuum does fantastic on carpet. Um, this is a medium length carpet. Uh, it goes through it really well. It does go through the battery a little bit quicker on it than obviously tile or wood. But this little thing does a great job. Um, it's been running for probably an hour and a half now and it's uh, going through the carpet pretty well right now. Um, let's go ahead and check it out on some tile. So a couple of more positive points I need to make about the D-Bot. Um, is they uh, are more quiet than a lot of the robotic vacuums that you'll find on the market these days. And also um, on wooden tile or laminate or hardwood floor or ceramic, they work fantastically. They've got a lot of suction power. Um, they pull up all the crumbs, anything in the cracks. They just do a great job. Let me uh, demonstrate really quickly. Okay, so both a good and bad feature about these D-Bots is they have a drop sensor built into them. So when they encounter some steps, they will avoid the steps, but they don't always know what to do. Sometimes they'll turn, sometimes they'll get stuck. So let me demonstrate. Okay, so the biggest pro of all um, to me with this D-Bot is obviously the uh, buttload of cash that you're saving when you buy this over some of the other uh, robot vacuums that are out there on the market. Um, so it does have its flaws. 
It is uh, none of those flaws seem to be a deal breaker and that is why our family owns three of those. All right, so your most common problem with uh, the D-Bot is they tend to eat everything they encounter. So let's see what's wrong with this little guy. So, okay, while he's eating a sock. So we've cleared the sock. Let's see if we can send Wally on his happy little way now. And there he goes for now. Okay, so sometimes with the D-Bot, it will get hung up on these rugs or these uh, throw rugs. So we're gonna try it really quick tonight and see if it has the issue or if it is not gonna have the problem. Okay, so we haven't had very many problems with these um, getting caught on the D-Bot. One thing people can do is they can um, put some tape or adhesive on the back of the throw rug and that seems to correct the issue. Okay, now this wouldn't be a proper review without mentioning the bumper that these D-Bots come with. So the bumper is meant to basically avoid obstacles when it gets within about six to eight inches of something it will steer clear or you'll notice the unit will slow down and it will get right up near the object and go around it or turn and go in another direction. So one problem I need to mention with the D-Bots I've had, I've got three of them and all three of them, that bumper has broken at some point in time. So let me just quickly demonstrate now. Like I say, on the new D-Bots, um, when they work correctly, they're supposed to slow down when they encounter an obstacle and avoid it or go around it very slowly. But on all of mine, at some point in time, the bumper sensor is broken and I've not been able to fix that. I've taken it apart, I've cleaned it, I've checked the sensors, made sure there's not anything blocking those sensors, but it just uh, you know goes full uh, speed into the obstacle and bounces and kind of goes off in another direction. So it's not a deal breaker. The bumper works enough that it recognizes there's something there and goes off in another direction. So let me demonstrate. Normally, it will slow down when it encounters an object and go around it nice and slow. And you'll notice this D-Bot just runs into it full tilt. And that's really my only complaint on these units. 
but honestly for the price, not a deal breaker as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so cleaning on our D-Bot, very simple. Um, you simply power off the D-Bot, you press the button on the back of the unit, you pull out the collection bin, you open up the bin right here, you see all the stuff that's collected inside, and you just dump it into the trash can. Kind of brush that out. And that is another um, really great positive about these D-Bots is they have a ton of suction power. Um, go ahead and check out um, all the dust I'm gonna go ahead and blow out of this D-Bot unit. And uh, like I say, if you have some canned air, that is the way to go to clean out these little filters here. You wanna take these filters, tap them out on the trash can. Um, if you have canned air, that's really the best way to go. But this top latch opens up, you have a little foam filter you have a little paper filter. Take those guys out. Clean them out over the trash can. If you have canned air, that's gonna be your preferred method. So check it out. Now that you've got everything clean, clean filters, clean collection bin, put your filters back in. Close up your collection tray, pop it back in your spot, and you're ready to rock and roll. As far as the maintenance goes on these things, basically there's three main rollers. Um, these pop right off, just like that. Clean out the fuzz out of the rollers. Big roller pops right out. You got two latches here. You can take this big roller out. Um, go ahead and check out my other video after you're done watching this one. You can see the whole maintenance routine on my other video, but um, it goes through all the maintenance that you can do on these guys. And here goes life of a D-Bot. Okay, you guys, so hopefully this video is really helpful. Be sure and click right here and check out some of these other videos, and I'll catch you later. Thanks so much.